Chiron. What is Chiron? Chiron is our creation. We are the creators. Chiron represents your wounded healing, your spiritual wounds, a.k.a. something that's inside of you. You can't see these things, but of course, in order for you to basically rectify and express these things, you need to basically be in the physical body to pretend these things, to pretend these things. Also, Chiron represents healing. H. H represents heal. Of course, you got to heal with them. You got to basically go through experiences in your life. You don't know that the, the worth of experiencing or expressing through these experiences, you won't be able to actually accumulate or recommend or accommodate these issues. I represents who you are. I is internally. So, of course, this is an internal thing, too. <clears throat> so, you got to look within yourself to basically heal wounds. You got to heal within yourself first. Everything starts with them. Always know that. You came from the within. And, of course, you have it without. Also, R represents real. You got to be real in life, really. You got to learn how to know the difference between real things and fake things. And, of course, you are the boss. You are the power. You are the energy. You are the God. You are the goddess. You are the universe. You are the multiverse. You are the universe. You are the outer verse. You are just a piece of an example of these things, but don't attach yourself to these things because you get too stuck, too stagnant, too stagnated into these things. <clears throat> and O is the her conference. And N is an N as a nation because, of course, we are nation wise. We all got kids within us blood cells, nation cells, all that shit, systems. Of course, these are our kids, our children. Of course, our children is basically digesting that the shit. Our kids are digesting the shit that we are in, that, in digesting. And of course, they're going to be picking up these experiences. So whatever's on your heart and your mind, when you're pushing out and when you're receiving and when you're fucking and sucking, because, you know, kids get ex exposed, get, kids get pushed out there. So that's a pertaining to. But of course, when we got Chiron and Taurus, these circumstances and such as place, situations play with self-worth. Know your worth. Because you don't know if you don't know your worth, if you don't know that you're way worth then the if you don't know your way worth a, a penny, way worth a cent, way worth a dime, you're gonna fall down with these things. Or this can play out to many circumstances and situations. It ain't just about money. The things that you value, the things you got to give the offer, these play out to a huge portal. And of course, a totality. And of course, if you put yourself in a circumstance situation thinking that you don't have something, and of course, the Chiron and Taurus represents overindulging into your desires. So of course, you get attacked by your hearing, your feeling, your senses, and of course, smell, t smell, touch. So you may get attacked by a whole lot of shit, a whole lot of things, a whole lot of possessions. Try not to get too possessed. Try not to put yourself in a circumstance situation of overindulging in too many things. You may be overindulging into the wrong things, and you don't want to do them things. You want to make sure you have a fair equilibrium share. Because, of course, sometimes <clears throat> with Chiron and Taurus people, when they overindulge into too many desires, too many pleasures, they're going to pick up the guilt program. Like, okay, you got to understand and understand. That guilt program is your spirit telling you, okay, it's cool to have these things. Try not to lose yourself into these things, because I love to expand and grow. But I'm going to let you play right now. But don't get lost into these things. There's many ways to look at things. Of course, Chiron and Taurus people think that money is the only way to receive things in life. Materialistic thing is very value important to, to, to y'all. And of course, y'all worry too much about losing things, losing possessions, losing people, places, and things that you're connected to or close to. Y'all may go to the extremes by doing things to make sure these things don't lose yourself or pertain to yourself because you're fixating your own ways of thinking and being practical. So, of course, the way you think is in the fixated perspective and the way you think is in the down, stagnated perspective. So nobody can't really tell you anything. And, of course, you look at things into one perspective. But, of course, this is where you fuck up. You're not supposed to get lost into this materialistic nature. You created this shit from the inside out. Remember that shit. So everything that you're doing now, you can still go with the inside yourself and still create shit for you to be able to actually swim in and dive in. But remember, don't dive too deep like your other zodiac sign, a.k.a. your opposite, which is Scorpio. You don't want to dive too deep. Learn how to find an equilibrium in, in a modality where y'all both can try not to... Um, That's why y'all both are opposites where, where you know, 
The earth is too fixated, it's too dry. And if you stay into one position too long, then that means too much of, um, it, it don't get too much recognition. So of course, it needs someone to basically bring this equilibrium, this water, this fixated water, AKA you gotta be fixated in your own ways of thinking to be impractical. And of course, you gotta be fixated in your own ways of dealing with your feelings and emotions because these modalities come with all pursuits. You gotta have fixed water, gotta have fixed fire, fixed air, and fixed earth. And of course, these things create our perspectives of basically existing into the world. But of course, if you got a Chiron and Taurus, learn how to not put too much value on too many things outside of you. Look what's inside yourself. Go with inside yourself. You can create these things. You can create your own money. You can create your own foundation. You can create your own shit. But you got to look with inside yourself and don't lose yourself before you wreck yourself. That's basically a Chiron and Taurus person. So yeah, understand and understand that the shit that you hold on to is basically your heart being heavy. Heavy. Than a motherfucking feather. If it ain't light as a feather and weight, then you won't be able to move on. You're going to keep getting dragged down here with too many responsibilities and too many attachments. And of course, that's why we got a Chiron for every sign.